There's only three common denominators in this country. One is God. Two, talk business, me blood, talk talk. Three is rugby league. A huge test for Papua New Guinea here. The only nation in the world with rugby league as their national sport. So there's a lot of the ladies out there are all making plenty of sacrifice to be here. The United Nations Human Rights Commission says Papua New Guinea is failing in its duty to protect women. The scale and brutality of family violence in PNG is We've well known. We've had seven attacks on women in the past month. We spoke to woman after woman who told us really harrowing accounts of how they'd been attacked by their husbands. Human rights defenders from Papua New Guinea say there's a lack of basic support. <laughs> But when you leave the ball to your thumb, you'll like force yourself to pass. But the powers are in your finger, fingertips. You use your fingers to flip the ball there. There. Good morning, PNG. Mo here on Tribe 92 FM. It's a cloudy day here in the nation's capital with some showers expected later. Now we've got some pretty big news to start the day. A national women's rugby league team is being formed. They'll be known as the PNG Orchids. Officials say they hope the new Orchids team will change the lives of female players and improve attitudes towards women here in Papua New Guinea. rugby league in PNG. They call it the grassroots sport because most people that are involved in rugby league has no job or education backgrounds. When they are on the field with the rugby ball, they, they feel that we, they can do anything. That gives them hope, I should say. Looking for a player that has a lot of heart, won't give up, and just has the passion to play for their country. Everything else we can teach. Just watching today, I think we're going to put a pretty good national oh, side together. what we're looking for. Uh, we have the ladies who have the guts to go up there in front, yeah, to face, to lead the pack, and I think we, we've, we found that, yeah. That's the biggest thing. I think I put my best in there. I think I, I played my best. I'm 
Tumen, Tumen to Tumen. Most of you are here. You have a good place. Place to travel. And the plenty of school. Sell a boy. Play cars. You sit on the house, the baby, the little monkey, the little run. Yeah. And my life. You too, man. Ora non si è tornato a stare, non si è tornato a stare. Ora non si è tornato a stare, non si è tornato a stare. Ora non si è tornato a stare. Ora non si è tornato a stare. Ora non si è tornato a The significance of this will not only have positive implications in the rugby code, but also emphasizes that women are breaking through stereotypical and gender equality barriers here in Papua New Guinea. The fact that the team is to play the Australian Gillaroos and also participate in the 2017 Rugby League Women's World Cup demonstrates the progress and potential of the women's rugby in PNG. I saw the newspaper and my name was in it and everyone congratulated me and that was how I knew I was in the team. It's an honor and I'm really proud of myself. My name is Gloria Kaupa. I'm in grade 12, I'm currently studying science and my school is a top school in Eastern Highlands, the province I am in. Um, and the school's name is Gorka Secondary and it is one of a competitive school. It only produces the best and that is why I'm proud to be in it, yeah. My ambition and my goal in life is I want to be a doctor and get into University of Papua New Guinea. Getting into a team, of, it is an opportunity to be, to be scouted by international if I perform well. So in that way, I know that it is uh, a way of, you know, like a job as well. Like Australian players, they get paid for what they do. They play, they love playing and they get paid for it. And I know that if I, if I try my best in sports and if I make it through, then I could be like them. Good morning, Papua New Guinea. Another beautiful day here in the nation's capital. And it's even more beautiful because today is the day that our newly formed women's team, the Orchids, begin their training camp. They've only got a week before they play the world's best, the Australian Gillaroos, in an exhibition match here in Port Moresby. Get on Facebook and tell us what you think. to play the men's sport, you train like the men. No more junk food. No more soft drink today. Tomorrow, no soft drink. No more, it's over, girls. It's over now. On your own merit, you made it into the squad. As soon as your name got into the paper, you become, uh, you become, what, you are in the limelight now. You become public property. You, everybody's looking at you. Your husband, your boyfriend or whatever, Make sure that they understand what you are doing. Uh, I hope they are understanding. Bring your husbands in, so they, they will help us too. Uh, we'll help them, uh, so they will know what's happening. No good time by jealous, and I can't burn him up, me by me running more there. You're here, man. Thank you. Is that all right? I'm from Enga province. It's in the islands region of Papua New Guinea. 
when families have gatherings or anything like that, like women are not allowed to speak. Number five, Kathy Neep. And Kathy, she's here with me, with us on the top table. And I, I should say, Kathy has also been declared the first captain of the All Search PNG Orchid. So congratulations, you've been part of history, Kathy. Well done. Number six, Christine Bulhage. Many Number seen seven, as the Stella. head of the family and who, the provider of the family and whatever I give to the woman, like the woman takes care of the children. So women doesn't ever say in anything. I'm sure rugby league has changed a lot of us, the women in the team. Uh, most of us, they don't go to school, they don't go to work, but this game, like, it's something that uh, put us, keep us all together safe and it, I, it's a game that will change every woman who is playing rugby league in our country, so thank you. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. the top of the hour and in rugby league news the orchids have announced ahead of the world cup that former canberra raiders and png kumul star david wesley will be part of their coaching staff run straight welcome home david we can't wait to see what you can achieve three back look around look number up number i'd like to see rugby change in lives more it changed my life just making a change for women it's, it's, I think for me it's a major one. Michael, number 14, 15 is Mala. Mala. Especially with the domestic violence. Just being safe in their own country or where they live. OK, the call is passing. OK, it means shut the gate. OK, no one comes through. OK, walk it up again. Pass him. Pass him, pass him. Come up, girls. Pass him. Pa all the way. There's your wall. Have a look at it. Have a look beside you. Have a look beside you. That's where we want a wall. Everyone see that? Yeah. No one comes through that wall. Pass him. Let's go. Let's start. When you're ready, set a six. There's a gap there already. Come on, let's go. We know how to play rugby league. Let's do it. Ready? Go. Back to me, back to me, girls, back. I've been thinking about this week, so we can't change much in your game. It's, it's too short. The main thing is what you're showing right now, energy, and then doing it as a team. That's what you're doing right now. Okay, well done. The path I took, oh, that's a long one. A really hard and long one. Because I had a lot of people going against me that, oh, you got kids and you never take care of kids and rugby and you got juggled everything. And then I'll just be like, oh, it's my life, mind your own business, it's what I want to do. Once I made the team, my parents were like, oh, you kept going at it and now finally something's happened. And I was like, yeah. So now everybody's just supporting me and they're taking care of my kids now while I'm training. So back then it wasn't really like, oh, she's wasting her time. I think you're going to get nothing out of rugby. But now, yeah, making history. Keeping it real with you on Tribe 92.3 FM. Sports news first up, and the world champion Australian Gillaroos are about to touch down here in the nation's capital. And they're actually building a Papua New Guinea in their lineup. That's right, Amelia Cook, who grew up here in PNG but lives in Australia, will be playing for the Gillaroos against her country women. So make sure you give her a big welcome home. Let's go! Let's go! 
rugby league has been centered around men for a very long time and maybe take a while before the orchids team get the same value as the men. We will prove that women in this country are as strong as men and women in this country can be able to compete on the international scene. Despite having the first, uh, first time for the woman to go out there, I am confident the girls will perform well. So the line league league now, eh? all lucky because Mikla play rugby now, and also one of them will go eh? and Bambi will play rugby as a guy now. There we go, for the first time ever for the women's game, rugby league is alive and well in the uh, in the female gender, so good to see there. With a kickoff by the Gillaroos and uh, this is the PNG Orchids now with the first use of the ball in this uh, first 40. Now back to uh, Helen Abau, puts up a midfield bomb and uh, the Australians now getting some good meters into the PNG's half. And this is Amelia Cooks tapping, taking. Sist is short of the line. Plays it back. To the open side they go. Brings home back towards the right side of the grandstand side. That is, they should score and they do. That's uh, gone. And here they are again in great attacking position. Five minutes out now from the PNG line. They decide to go wide. Oh, straight that hard. That's a big run. But somehow, PNG Hawkins were able to hold them out. No, but he's a no, winner. It's try time. <laughs> it's try time. Oh, well, yeah, okay, Mata Carl, number 14 for the Orchid. She's played well since she's come on, given that uh, much of the injection. An outside runner's not getting much support, but here's Cook with a great oh, run. She's still going. There you go. Okay. Now setting up the outside winger. That was uh, McGregor, actually. The outside center making a good run, but somehow the PNG defense caught up with her. So walking through the hands. They got numbers They're here. They're just playing touch footy here this afternoon. The Australian jewelry and. There they go again for try number three. I'm sure uh, the message at halftime by uh, the PNG coaching staff is to just make sure, just get the basics right. I think that's what they need to get back down to doing. We need to do that now. If we need law, play one, one, two, 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 two now, you need to go down. You need law in this plan. Time you will run. We need to run away long or look and run for straight long. Or step, punch him or step. We are underway in the second half of the Orchids versus the Jillaroos. 
Can we see some improvement, especially in defense here from the PNG Orchids? Running it from down behind, angling back in film, but ah, some good defense. It was a big hit from Maima Way. They've got numbers here. A little Jago manages to slip a pass back. Amelia Cook, she's heading for the line now. She's been shoved back there by some good defense from the Orchids. On the last play here for the Australians, from dummy half, goes right to an over she goes. That's Meg Ward, she's crashed over. PNG, Orchids yet to score. <laughs> PNG Orchids now have the ball. They're keeping it alive. PNG, Orchids. It's a good attacking position for the Orchids. This is their chance to mount an attack. Possibly crossover for the first time. Well, at least if they can score a four-pointer. Or comes up. This is a real chance here for PNG. Still eight minutes out from the line. Now. I think she's gone over the big moment away. Well, <laughs> there you are. That's a little <laughs> try, Who scored the first ever try for the closest PNG Orchids? My away. But to no avail, Australian defence prevail. Put a great performance against the world champ. Uh, some of us gave, gave them something they, they won't forget. Okay. I think next time PNG go, we'll go even better. The Orchids had their first outing as a team and they got thrashed. We all know they're a new team, but something does need to change before the World Cup, or it could be a bit embarrassing, don't you think? I hope the coaches have a plan. So tonight we're just going to go through the video, we'll stop and start it, we'll just work on errors first. You carry the football with two hands, grip, and then you tuck it in. So all those three tackles were like this, see that? We're carrying like that. It was hot and sweaty, bang. Australia, they're very good defenders and they, they got taught to do that. They've played since they're little girls. You girls have come a long way, so you should be really proud of yourself. We're showing you all these negatives in your game that you need to fix but there's a lot of positives as well. You know, we've got to build up to the World Cup. So the little <coughs> things around, talk, whatever, Facebook, get that all out of your head. Um, that's it, girls. <laughs> In Rugby League news, PNG's own Amelia Cook hasn't made the final Jillaroo squad. It is not a good day for PNG women in Rugby League. Have you seen the sharpener? No, just chop it like that. Put it on Max, actually. I got a phone call from the coach and he was like, hey, I just saw the team list went up for the Jillaroos and that you didn't make it. So if you want an opportunity to pull on the PNG jersey, I like, would be happy to have you. And I, I jumped at that opportunity. That was, that was my blessing in disguise, I guess, like not making it and just feeling at the bottom of the world and to get that phone call and just lifting my spirits and giving me hope and 
for another shot at my, my World Cup dream, and that, that was the best news ever. I feel like I'm from Papua New Guinea, but I live in Australia. Australia is my home, but I still say I'm from Papua New Guinea. Get it, girl. <laughs> Such posing. Next. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Playing for Australia, then it was very strange. It felt like I was going back to go to war against my own kind in that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I always feel like there's something missing when, you know, we're living in Brisbane. You just go to work and come home and, you know, that's it, that's your life, and you just keep to yourself. So I find, you know, Brisbane obviously is a big city, so everyone goes about their own business, whereas back home it's more, more family orientated and, you know, you, you go down the road and you see people and you know everyone, which is a good thing about home. I don't think I'll ever give up my PNG passport. I feel that I have to go back home to rejuvenate it and just to... Uh, because, you know, living in Australia, it's, it's a lot faster. But I feel whenever I go home, I just feel more relaxed. Well, here with you on Tribe, and guess what, Tribers? PNG Orchids coach David Wesley has recruited former Jillaroo star Amelia Cook to the national side. She will only have a short time to get to know her new teammates before the World Cup matches in a couple of weeks' time. Someone like yourself coming in the team, it's, it's actually going to lift the exposure as well. So. Arriving into a new team, the, first of all, it is a new team and you're from outside. I was just privileged enough to, you know, be with the world-class um, athletes training with them at that level, which is a completely different level from, from PNG, obviously, and I think I felt a bit like, I felt like an outsider. Hey girls, when the ball goes past you, you have to talk. Everyone talk. Let's go back. Everyone talk. In front of me here, three meters offside. Go again, four more plays. Keep the line. Two months to get a team ready for a World Cup is, is not a lot of time. Yeah, you, you just gotta be so committed to what you do. You know, your commitment to training, your commitment to being a good listener. Hello, Mila Pray. Thank you. Rugby League is probably the most common language that every Papua New Guinean speaks. To see how far they've come from a, a test match and just playing together for a few months. If we can put up a good fight against some a team that's played for years and we've only been together for about three months, you know, that just it says in itself how far we can go. Tribe 92.3 FM, yeah, 33 minutes past nine, in other words, 27 minutes to the top of the hour. A beautiful morning, and I've got the ladies in here, finally. Our Power Mary, or Power Marys, as I like to call them, our powerful women, the PNG Orchids. 
Morning, morning, morning. Morning, morning. What can you say to young women who are listening to you right now? How do you mean start right across the nation, you know? Mm. So me training come na you know, planting negativity na kind of same like but if I go play lower you just waste time na kind of same but then I will come and come up na me making uh so so definitely there was like a slap on the face for everyone and yeah. say, blog you on your mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the um, cultural stuff that we were brought up with saying that women are meant to be in the kitchen, they're not allowed to play sport, you know, men are better than everything. Like, yeah. We just put that the full stop right now with this and it starts here, it starts with us. Um, it's, it's This nation's about to change and women are starting to come through and empowering each other and it's um, the future is looking really, really bright. Keep your eyes on their Facebook page. They need all the support that we can give them. Mama le kare mama go play balus. Na you carry ice cream mama mala will buy you ice cream. O na gi mama la kare mare bol bastili mani bia kare me bilum. Yeah, kare. Eh. Bin mama mala ba buy ice cream. One per day na rupla 10 kina na rupla day 10 kina 10 kina 10 kina 10 kina. Na rupa no na pa. So my mom and my this little brother stay in the village but they came to look after them. They're all sleeping me and my Zane's and my, me and Zane's room. And Pussy went there. Oh, put the pillow on me, then I'll sleep on me. In this few couple of days, um, there's been a lot of negative things about the girls and about the team in social media. Our focus is straight on like winning our first few games and making the finals just to prove like everyone wrong, like all those people that are saying negative things about us and on Facebook and on social media just to prove everyone wrong. Seven years I played rugby, and I'm so proud to for my like hard work playing rugby and all this. I'm so proud to you know, represent my country. Excited, most of us. It's an history for most of the girls to make and to go around to Australia. Some of the things that they were asking, well, how is it like? Like, how do the white people down there look at us? Or like, what will they say to us? Or they were like, what are they going to see? Like the things, the shops, the buildings. They were really excited and saying, like, some were saying, well, the things that we see on TV are they real? Are we going to see those things down there? Good morning, Sydney and women's sports fans. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. 
The Rugby League World Cup is just three days away and the six competing teams have just landed. Our very own Aussie Gillaroos are favourites, but New Zealand will be looking to give them a run for their money. England and Canada might take a while to get over their jet lag. And there are two Pacific nations playing, the Cook Islands and debutantes Papua New Guinea. That's all we need in the second row is eight, mate. Eight. Yep. Yep. Great. All right. Here we go. Big smiles. We're happy. Two more. A few more. Go for it. Beautiful. Thank you. Great. Something crazy for me? Yeah. Lovely. Arms folded. Arms folded. And what have you got for me? You got something crazy for me? Um, something? I just need to say three, two, one, and then go. Okay, ready? Yeah, ready. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Sydney, there's a Harbour Bridge. How do you feel? My mama is number three. Getting you here, getting you playing and representing Papua New Guinea women and Papua New Guinea as a whole. They clearly demonstrate that dreams can be fulfilled for them and so many women in Papua New Guinea. And we're very proud to support the first ever national women's rugby league team and the first ever, of course, to play in the Women's Rugby League World Cup. Welcome, ladies. Welcome, PNG Orchids. Happy name. This journey is a own journey that uh, PNG women, the Onset PNG Orchids team has traveled through. Um, just by being here and like comparing it from where we started, it was a tough journey for us, the ladies here. This journey is, it's a tough one back at home. Every orchid girl has a story to tell, which is different from mine. But it all comes to gender equity and what we all share. Back in our culture, uh, at our home, ladies are always treated uh, second to men. So in this game's great game of rugby league, we have been able to change the mindset of our fellow countrymen. news first and the orchids have landed in Australia. Tomorrow they'll play their second ever match, a World Cup warm-up game against the regional team, the far north Queensland All-Stars. Go girls! Thank you to the North, our farm, North Queensland side, for giving us this opportunity to come down here and have a game of footy with you girls. Um, this is the second time we've played as a team, and we want to say thank you very much for giving this opportunity to play one more game again as a team and to look forward to our World Cup. So thanks. Yeah, we're going to do really well for the World Cup. 
They showed, yeah. they showed what they can do tonight. Really, really good. And in Rugby League news at the top of the hour, our PNG girls came away with a win in their World Cup warm-up match. But I can see some of you on Facebook are still not getting behind them. Seriously guys, they won 30 points to 6. Isn't that good enough for you? Yeah, it's like they, they have a choice. And with men, it's, it's, it's really not so much of an impact on men, but with women, it's, it's some very big decisions have to be made. Huh? Some mothers in the team make that bold stand to leave their kids and leave the country and come over for the love of this game. Just have to get them up in their faces and get them down and give them the tackle that they deserve. And they should be able to at least feel the strength of a PNG woman. You know, I understand why on the big game, uh, the play, but. The only thing thing of the team is because I'm young and maybe I must audition to also milk or just focus on this lot to keep myself together, not to lose it or something. So did everyone uh, go away last night thinking about their job? Yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, if you do that to the best of your ability, we are gonna win. I guarantee it. Okay, so when you go back, still think about all those little things, what you can do for your team. Finally, the day has come. Get yourself to a television set, Papua New Guinea, because the Orchids are about to take on England in their very first World Cup match. Rugby League Women's World Cup 2017 here at Shark Park in the beautiful Sutherland Shire. Unity and Anit Leun all get struggle play. They'll have fun, all be enjoying game. Now we'll play to the best of the abilities that you've been given model. May you be honored and glorified in everything that happens today. Whatever the outcome, outcome of this game, we are praising you and glorifying you. So thank you, Leun, all get the sun. Tremendous to have your company wherever you're watching, right around the globe here this evening, coming to you live from Southern Cross Stadium oh! in Sydney. Oh! Rugby League Women's World Cup. It's England versus Papua New Guinea as the two sides walking out here for this pool game. Very exciting for Papua New Guinea, of course. The only nation in the world with rugby league as their national sport. A huge test for Papua New Guinea here at Southern Cross Group Stadium. The kickoff by the English team is oh, we see a collision there coming across. They almost took each other out. It was Amelia Cook, fortunately, for the Orchids, who Hold took here. that cleanly to take their first possession. For the Orchids, this time they know it's last. Cook with the crossfield kick, it's not a bad one. Oh, fumbled by England. Chance here for the Orchids. Strike first. And the 
English a little shell shocked at the moment. Of course, England have appeared in every World Cup and they're away. Now, the Orchids pass inside there from Kuman, and they're still going. Here's Amelia Cook. Gee, she's been a standout, hasn't she, in the first 10 minutes or so for PNG? Away to Cook. Amelia Cook, she runs across field. She dummies. She's through it. She knows. And she's lost to footy. Okay, As we see the footy. English defence, she's been taken down like a pack of lions on a buffalo. Solid defence by the English. Yeah, and we've been talking about Amelia Cook and how well she's going. Just have a look at this replay. She runs again. She's got about three or four of her players. She dummies outside of her and again decides to take it on her own and comes up short. It'll be a real shame if Amelia Cook is out. She's been their best player so far. Yeah, very disappointed, Amelia Cook. It looks like she's done some ligament damage and won't be returning to the field uh, today, but they'll obviously give you a few days to recover. They go the short side. Lovely pass there. And Dean, the turnover slow came up with it. There's Dobson with a pearler of a ball. A shot of the in the corner. Danica Prim plays it. Bound from dummy half. She reaches out for the try line. And she scored. Yes, she saw both of those players on the sideline as England spread it wide now. And they're in again. Charlotte Booth with a wonderful team try there. Shirley Joe. He's bound. Short pass. Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe puts it down. Referee points to the spot. And that's the full time siren. England victorious. 36 over the Papua New Guinea Orchids. Eight. Grab some ice if you need ice. Ask for it, please. You just, you girls have to realise of where where you came from, how you came together, and how you you're moving forward as a team and individuals. How we got to work together as a team. We've not got another two games to go. Okay, we don't go backwards. We keep going forward. Personally, very proud of you. Proud of you all. They should have won that game. They really, we should have won that game. Everyone believed it and they believed it. We coaching staff believed it. There was just a lot of missed opportunities. Um, to realize that and then you know, there was a great opportunity just to set um, just to say that we're one step further making the semis. We had the 60 missed tackles. 60. That's a lot of missed tackles. 60. That's why we lost the game. Part of the game of rugby league is communicating, sending out calls or repeating calls or uh, talking to the person beside you in defence. Whatever we do, let's try and... Not try, let's work as a team tomorrow. Try not to listen to anyone on social media because they're, they're just behind phones and they think they're coaches and they think they're players, those people that just don't have any character. Over time, you get to learn these things that it's not so important. It's what you do in your team environment and what your coach says because they're the ones that know how to win games. And, I think we had a good game plan on how to win the game and we just didn't execute certain things and we didn't play together as a team. I know a few of them were just discussing about what people were saying and they were getting angry and worked up over nothing. Like, you have to look at it. This, if the person making that comment probably has nothing better to do than talk about other people and putting other people down. Um, as a nation, we should be just proud of the girls and just where they're starting now and know that it's just a start. I think they expected us to be just like as successful as the Kumuls. The Kumuls had to start somewhere, so did every other top team in the world. And this is just a start for the girls. So I think as the years go on by, we'll, we'll change that and hopefully get more better feedback from the people of Papua New Guinea. Something is wrong with no the team yet. Team in Australia. If we think that we've done something to let the team down, because the US team are the big man, and like we have our cultures and stuff like that, let's maintain it, stay truthful to each other, to ourselves especially. 
Leute! Wir in die Hocke! Amelia Cook has been ruled unfit to play in the PNG Orchids second World Cup match against Canada. At this stage, it looks like she'll be out for the rest of the tournament. Good to have your company from Southern Cross Group Stadium in Sydney's Sutherland Shire, where the weather is starting to look somewhat inclement. Our third match of the day, Papua New Guinea, the Orchids to face the Ravens of Canada. Second round of pool matches in the 2017 Women's Rugby League World Cup. And Butler signals time on. We are underway as conditions here become quite dark and the temperature has dropped dramatically too. Let us stand straight away. The PNG struggling a bit to get out of their own area here. Hell, hell. Yeah. And look at the referee just go up. Now they go the other way. Ooh, jeez. Potential obstruction, but they got away with it. Jackie Nayib. Just a hand over there. Skipper Touch was the there, and player Hand ran around it. That's a turnover, and the PNG coach will not be happy yeah. with that. Yeah, that's not good when you aren't aware of what the tackle count is. You need to know that. You don't want to hand the ball over. So the ball getting some air. PNG paying the price for a lack of concentration. Steal. Great chance for Canada. Six metres out from the line. They come to the short side. Natasha Smith having a big crack. He may be going to the video referee for the first time. No, he's going to point to the spot. McDade across the field. And a kick for her outside players. Plenty of hang time on it. There's a chance for Canada if they're on the spot. Here's Keller. Natasha Smith will have a crack from acting half the original try scorer. She's got another one. Natasha Smith, definitely no doubt about that one. That's the halftime siren. And here at Southern Cross Group Stadium, it is Canada leading PNG by 10 to 4. Kiss him ball. Just go off one. Huh? Kiss him ball of ground, go off. Catch him ball, bang. No can kiss him ball, around one tap can, and you may delay. All by eating, you may down. Move us up, move us up. McDane, Schnorr, and now out the back to Petrinus. Petrinus had two support players on a right. Probably smart not to go with him. They're running out of territory with the sideline looming. And Schnorr, a little grabbing kick in behind them. Oh, it's going to come up, Trumps. I think it's McDane that's grabbed it. Open side they go. Schnorr to McDane. And now to Petrinos. They've got an overlap. It comes to Natasha Smith. They won't stop Natasha. Not from close range. And she gets another World Cup try. Yeah, that ball of referee's been going really well. And that's all she wrote full time here. Plus by 9 o'clock, OK? We've got about 45 minutes. The Orchids are preparing for their final World Cup pool match against New Zealand. And unless they can win, it's all over for our girls. They'll be out of the World Cup. Coach. Um, we've had a discussion with the uh, doctor and Katie. For myself, I don't think we should risk you. What? It's not only you doing more damage, it's about 
having the team fully fit and making sure, because you know they're a big side. <laughs> yeah. And they're going to target you, you know that. Yeah. They already know you're injured. They don't want me to play, but then David said, get Katie to do a few testings on me and then get her opinion as well. Hey? So don't you dare go down on me out there. Oh, I won't. <laughs> Uh, I don't like her chances of passing the fitness test we're going to do, but it's worth a shot. All right, hit it fast. Still good? One more. Looks, looks all right. How's it feel? Knee's not coming in too far. No. All right. Kick the ball. See how you go kicking, standing on that. So we'll tell coach. Confident? I am. Good. We've um, done all testing. She's she's feeling good. She's got the agility. Um, I mean, we've taped her up to Billio. Um, but it's, it's, it's your call. I, I, she's passed everything. Okay. Yep. We'll just do one more set here and we'll get in the ball work. Okay. <laughs> so we, we just have to push Della back to the bench. We just have to push down. And it's good news from the Orchids final training session. Amelia Cook passed the late fitness test and will play against New Zealand. And Gloria Cowper, the youngest member of the squad, has also been named in the team and will play her first match of the World Cup. Hello, I learned to remember best the player, but then let me come here and then I'm on a call in. But then I'm also meeting him as a PNG team, so it's not like my choice. I have to like still one bed or stun and then at least me play a game, so all right. You girls know how to win a game. We just haven't been doing it. The little things in between. Okay, they're the things that win games. We're not going to say much before this game. We fight till the end. OK, we've got a lot of supporters here. We've got a lot of uh, good people supporting you and um, wanting to do the best you can. OK, it's a tough game, but just do the best you can. Here come the sides walking out. As you can see there, the Ferns and the Orchids. Of course, this is the first ever World Cup appearance for the Papua New Guinea Orchids in the women's game. Country where rugby league is the national sport. Still searching for their first ever World Cup win. And the equation is very simple for Papua New Guinea today. They must win against this highly fancied Ferns outfit to progress any further where a matchup with Australia would await. Can Papua New Guinea do the impossible? That's the question. They're the only team so far in this competition that hasn't had a win. So they can do. Underway here, and it's a 
bouncing ball to kick us off. Papua New Guinea with first possession and driving defence from the Ferns. Amelia Cook with the kicking duties. Charges onto it, still going small. Danger here for the Orchids. Big trouble. Here's Rorta going across to Hale. Wonderful play, and that's Nungol, who's over the white stripe for the Ferns, and Louisa Nungol, New Zealand, on the board early. So Amelia Cook, good to see that she's okay. She'll be taking the kick off for PNG. Let's play the test for the Gillaroos. She gets us underway, Amelia Cook. Try scorer, Nungol. Barnstorming run again. Beats a couple on her way past oh, the Good tackle. Rorta. Goes short of the front row of Smalley. And Smalley running over Orchid. Defenders like a human bulldozer. Rorta. Hale. McGregor. McGregor, she can go herself here, McGregor. She's got the ball down. It's try time. New Zealand Ferns. And that brings up the score, New Zealand 8, PNG nil. Defence, defence. The Orchids under all kinds of pressure here. Comes away of Smalley, actually Smalley. Last tackle. Come on, girls. Brought up. That's a through the hands now it goes and it's with McGregor who fires it out to Hilda Peters she has Carney inside good defense by Joan Kuman. running from dummy half Peters plays it brought up to the way to Kudawaka Crow let's go again good here's Tupai R with the run oh five away coming across good tackle good. Game starting to spice up. Certainly looked like it could be an onslaught early on. They've done well, the Orchids, to restrict it to still that 8 0 margin, Bill Fire Harrigan. Up. Maynard. Away now to Nuasala. Nuasala with the offload. Intercepted by Ordama. It's taken down by Maynard. As the siren sounds, and it's New Zealand leading over the Papua New Guinea and Orchids. And coach Dennis Mile from the Orchids wouldn't be too disappointed with that scoreline at the break, Bill Harrigan, I would have thought. Certainly wouldn't after, you know, first 10 minutes, they're down by two tries. And then to stay at 8 nil, terrific stuff. Mimo, a strong, strong get first half. You'd be happy where the score's at at the moment, although trailing. Oh, yeah, very happy. I'm just so proud of our girls. You know, we came here, we're going to have to lose. It's like you all do a day. The, uh, the first 30 minutes, great football, but the last 10 minutes was like the intensity just really stepped up a notch. Yeah, I mean, like, this is like our last game, and if we're going to go home, we're going to go home hard. So I'll go home and go broke. With that close, we can win this game. We can win this game. <laughs> Keep that energy. I can feel the energy still in here. And after that 10, 15 minutes, I can still feel it in here. Let's keep that when we go out there, OK? Really good. Let's get up and start warming up. That same team that came off you back on. Keep that talk up. Really good talk. You could see we were getting the momentum. They were fucking losing their shit. Yeah. When you put them on their ass, they had got nothing, girls. We are in this game. Eight nil is nothing. Yeah. Back underway here, Cook, second half.
Experience. It's the dream and the meme come true. Keeping it real with you on Tribe 92 FM. And guess what a little bird told me? Apparently, our men's and women's national rugby league teams, the Kumuls and the Orchids, will be training together today. Get down to the stadium if you can and show our boys and our girls some love. Before it was a when is anything with man making. It's um, against him culture being blasted so you don't know can make him. So my mindset no on man gain, on man paint him to change his skin. You know what I'm saying? Look at some changes in himself. Playing for PNG made me feel connected to my people and my family back home. I was so proud to be one of the first girls to run out there in that Orchids jersey for the first World Cup. It has made me think like, about the great things that I could do for my country in my own little ways. And I wanted to tell every girl, every boy that I came across that there's things that we can do in our little ways to contribute to the society and we could see that our country could like, change. Okay, but story One player must run with the ball from one end of our playing field. Mila change your life blue or young youth through rugby league. Then it's called rugby league. 
Oh, but pay my attention. Stop electronic in Dutch. Emotion and up me nature by my side. Lay you are. Hold on, I say I'll be here. Just for a while in a sea. Right now, I'm still missing, missing, missing you more. I am the moon. 